Dear people of God, our Heavenly Father sent His Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved, that all who believe in Him might be delivered from the power of sin and death, and become heirs with Him of everlasting life. We pray, therefore, for people everywhere according to their needs. You may kneel in prayer or be seated. Let us pray for the Holy Catholic Church of Christ throughout the world, that God will confirm His holy people in faith, increase them in love, and preserve them in peace. Jesus is condemned to death. We join to the suffering of Christ and the travail of those afflicted with disease. A reading from the first letter of Peter. He did no wrong, no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he was made to suffer, he did not counter with threats. Instead, he delivered himself up to the one who judges justly. In his own body, he brought your sins to the cross. Jesus carries the cross. We join to the suffering of Christ the pangs of those who are hungry or starving to death. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to them, I am telling you the truth. If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in yourselves. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them to life on the last day. For my flesh is real food, my blood real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I in them. Jesus falls the first time. We join to the suffering of Christ the injuries inflicted on the environment of our planet Earth. A reading from the book of Genesis. Then the Lord God planted a garden, and he placed there the humans he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food. A river rose to water the garden. Then the Lord God took the humans to the garden with instructions to cultivate and care for it. Jesus meets his mother. We join in the suffering of Christ, the anguish of the mothers of the disappeared. A reading from the book of Isaiah. I will never forget you, my people. I have carved you in the palm of my hand. 
I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphaned. I will never forget my own. If a mother forgets her baby, or a woman, the child in her womb, yet even these forget, even these forget, but I will never forget my own. Simon helps carry the cross. We join to the suffering of Jesus the rejection experienced by disabled people. A reading from the first letter of Peter. <coughs> My dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful test you are suffering, as though something unusual were happening to you. Rather, be glad that you are sharing Christ's sufferings so that you may be full of joy when his glory is revealed. Happy are you if you are insulted because you are Christ's followers. This means that the glorious spirit, the spirit of God is resting in you. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We join to the suffering of Christ the discrimination endured by women of all races. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus, tired from his journey, sat down at the well. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, give me a drink. The Samaritan woman said, you are a Jew. How can you ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Oh my God, and we pray in every heart, love and peace, and guide us with your wisdom, and all those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, especially the United States, in the crisis in Russia, Ukraine, Syria, Venezuela, and anywhere else you wish to name, you are silently allowed this time. We pray also for all women around the world who are subjugated to violence and oppression, and anyone for that matter and those who suffer, who are weak. That in your tranquility, O God, your dominion may increase until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us pray for all who suffer and are afflicted in body or mind, that God in his mercy will comfort and relieve them and grant them the knowledge of his love, and stir up in us the will and patience to minister to their needs. Jesus falls the second time. We join to the suffering of Christ the living hell of those addicted to drugs or alcohol. A reading from the Lamentations of Jeremiah. He has broken my teeth with gravel, pressed my face in the dust. My soul is deprived of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. I will tell myself my future is lost, all that I hoped for from the Lord. The thought of my homeless poverty is wormwood and gall. Remembering it over and over leaves my soul downcast within me. But I will call this to mind as my reason to have hope. The Lord, the favors of the Lord are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They are renewed each morning.
Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We join to the suffering of Christ, the pain of abused children, and the despair of young people who commit suicide. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. The people brought babies for Jesus to touch. When the disciples saw them, they rebuked them. But Jesus called for the children and said, Let the little ones come to me. Do not try to stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you that whoever does not accept the kingdom of God, like a child, will never enter it. Jesus falls the third time. We join to the suffering of Christ, the victims of human prejudice and injustice. A reading from the Epistle of James. My friends, show no partiality as you hold the faith of Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. If you really fulfill the law according to scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty of it all. Gracious God, comfort of all who sorrow, the strength of all who suffer. But the cry of those in misery and need come to you. They may find your mercy present with them in all their afflictions. And you give us, we pray, the strength to serve them for the sake of him who suffered for us. Son of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who have not received the gospel of Christ, that God will open their hearts to the truth and lead them to faith and obedience. Jesus is stripped of his clothing. We join to the suffering of Christ, the misery of the homeless. A reading from the book of Psalms. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? Why do you not heed my groans? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. In the night I cry, but you send no relief. And yet, you are the one enthroned in holiness. You are the one whose praises we sing. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We join to the suffering of Christ, the plight of refugees around the world. A reading in the Gospel of Luke. When they reached the place called the Skull, they crucified him there, and two criminals also, one on the right, one on the left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. suffering oppression and hostility throughout the world. We pray for the people of war-torn countries throughout the world. And on this Good Friday, we especially pray for the witness of the church in Jerusalem. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. The assembly of elders began to accuse Jesus, saying, We found this man perverting our nation and forbidding us to give tribute to Caesar and saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Merciful God, 
creator of all the peace of the earth and lover of souls. Have compassion on all who do not know you, as you are revealed in your Son, Jesus Christ. Let your gospel be preached with grace and power to those who have not heard it. Turn the hearts of those who resist it, and bring home to your fold those who have gone astray, that there may be one flock under one shepherd, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us commit ourselves to our God and pray for the grace of a holy life that with all who have departed this world and have died in the peace of Christ and those whose faith is known to God alone, we may be accounted worthy to enter into the fullness of the joy of our Lord and receive the crown of life in the day of resurrection. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We join to the suffering of Christ the loneliness of the elderly who live by themselves, especially those who have no relatives. A reading from the epistle to the Philippians. I do not think of myself as having reached the finish line. I give no thought to what lies behind. My entire attention is on the finish line as I run toward the prize to which God has called me. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We join to the suffering of Christ the poignant quandary of hostages around the world. A reading from the book of Psalms. But I am no longer human. I am a worm despised by everyone. All who see me make fun of me. They stick out their tongues and shake their heads saying, you relied on the Lord. Why doesn't he save you? O oh God of unchangeable power and eternal life, look faithfully on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation, and let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, that things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please stand for hymn number 168, hymn 168, we will sing verse.